mother. Oh yeah. You able to snap any dust things with fire flying? What is that? You able to get any dust things to meet with the fire flying? Oh yeah. Get them from this side right here, let them stay out of it, turn off the stair out of it. All right, so just opened up a fresh can and you gotta pay attention because when you pull them out, look, all busted. I can get you welding right there and be like, gosh dang it. Alright, so we don't want to do that. So the way this process is going, it's actually a lot uh, I like this process. So this is like 6010B, 6010 uh, filling cap. And then low hydrogen. So this is just a different build. So the way I like to really do this type of stuff, um, this connection comes out like this in the build. So notice I don't have my button up here. Now I messed up on one of the pieces and I put the button on top. But I always try to keep the button on the bottom of the build. So as you're building it and you're looking at it from the top, you never see the buttons. They're all underneath it, you know, if it's low to the ground. Now if it's high in the ground, I mean, it's if it's high in the sky and above the ground, you would want your buttons on top so that way when you look up all you see is weld you never see buttons so that's one thing i want to teach you guys is learn how to hide your buttons all right so this is 532 7018 excalibur rod uh gonna burn it at about 188 amps here we go no back up it's gonna blind you Good video of me going around welding it. I burnt it down kind of low that's just how I like to roll and the slag usually you know uh, it just kind of comes off really easily you know like that it'll peel off just really easily like that and that give you a nice way to fire right back up right there now when I fire back up it's kind of like I drag it I get to right here I do kind of like two little swoops and then I get straight and I just drag it if any kind of motion it's side to side now notice I got most of that weld that 532 all right let me go ahead and finish it put the rest of the cap on it
actually not when I fired up I actually just fired up and laid it on there and then took off on it and then when I got right here I got on top of it I did like this and then kind of pulled off and then notice I didn't use the full rod I used about half that rod so it only took about a rod and a half but yeah And then I don't always throw a file around it. You know, I don't have to. Look, it looks good. The presentation looks good. I don't have to throw a file around it. But I like to throw a file, AKA what I call chainsaw. Run, 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 run. Is it all crazy? No, not really. Just really lightly, you know. Brush the toes off. Just try to make it what they call look uniform. Don't get all crazy with your file like I just did. Fire it up like a chainsaw go after it like you're trying to chop down a, a wheat field you know now I'll just get it on there drag it really nice the whole point is to like take the file and slightly drive it into the weld just a little bit not trying to cut deep because you can you can cut it deep right here doing this so it's a real fine line of not to cut it too deep and leave yourself a file mark a file line you know when you go to wire wheel it you want to be able to not see this file line when they paint it you definitely don't want to see it but bam Damn, baby. I like it. You like it. Would you buy it? And so when the piece, they're looking at it from the top, that's how they'll see it. They won't see the button. Another thing I like to point out too is I like to keep the button or the numbers on the flange up here. So they don't have to crawl underneath it and try to read the numbers as they walk up to their build. They can look down on it and they can see all their numbers. And of course, I'll throw my stamp on it, baby. All right. 